Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. This is my trailer, which I'm currently reorganizing here and getting all set up because tomorrow I am on a big lake trout mission with a good buddy, Mac Mulligan, up here at Baker's Narrows Lodge in Northern Manitoba. One of my favorite, favorite destinations. I've caught some big trout out of Lake Athapapaskau and Mac has given me three days to fish with him. And we're gonna hang out, probably separate tents, but we're gonna fish together in the same area and see if we can hopefully put a big mama lake trout on the ice in the next few days. So I'm gonna do a quick tour around here, talk about the lodge itself just a little bit because they have the nice lodge area there, which I don't show off very often in my videos, as well as they have some awesome transportation vehicles to get you out onto the lake. We're gonna be using the snowmobile for our trips, but they have a bunch of uh, groups right now that are here for some guided stuff, and they'll be using that transportation, and I'll talk about a few of the different packages they have and all that fun stuff. So let's go for a quick little tour. See, here is transportation one out of two vehicles. Big van on tracks, like nothing like riding out in style in terms of being nice and warm. I love it. That is so good right there. Right from a warm van, right to the warm shack. And they have another sick mobile here too, on tracks for those uh, treks out to the big lake in the frigid, frigid cold. This is so good. Guided operation right here at its finest. So a lot of times when you go to lodges in the north, you have to have your own gear and you can obviously do that here. They have your do it yourself packages or you can book the cabin and just be on your own, but they have packages set up for guided operations too, where you can book a cabin with four people and get a guide for a day, that type of thing. And of course they have packages like this. They'll include your transportation to the ice, all of your gear, like drill your holes, set, set up the shacks, all that stuff. So if you're just getting into ice fishing, this is such a great way to do it and see if you enjoy it and see if you want to invest in the gear from there. So they have fuel available. That's really nice. You don't have to go into town and fuel up. That makes things a lot easier. They have a fleet of rental sleds as well. So you can rent a sled and they have really good trails and that stuff around here too. So you don't just have to come up here and ice fish. I'll tell you what, there's some amazing powder and sledding to be had out in this region as well. So. If you're not into the fishing side of it, if you're into the whole outdoor side, just getting out and doing that type of thing too. Like I said, sledding, seeing the whole ecotourism thing. They have lots of packages like that available as well. I'll try to film this before my camera fogs right up, but this is where they'll cook meals for you, breakfast and supper, ping pong table. They'll have this fire pit going at night here. Yeah, or fireplace, I should say. It's super awesome in here. It's hard to show you the whole thing with just the camera. Nice welcome moose right there. This lodge is awesome. I can just picture myself sitting beside this nice, warm fireplace after catching a 40 plus inch lake trout. Yeah, baby. Well, that's the lodge in the nutshell right there. I'm going to head back to my cabin and get some things ready. I do have three days to fish with Mac. Lake trout, a big lake trout is the, the first priority. And then we'll go from there. If we don't do well the first day, I'll turn it into kind of like a multi-day for one video. And if we do good, I'll just kind of break it into three separate videos if I can. That's always the goal, right? But anyways, let's go get our gear organized, the sled point in the right direction so we can go fishing. And I obviously will introduce you to Mac here at some point, but he is out guiding right now so i can't include him in the introduction of this video right now but he will be in this video soon well, minus 16 the sled's running i can't tell you the difference out here right now it's been like minus 30 minus 37 like every morning out here lately this feels like feels like the bahamas baby I'm gonna go grab mac somewhere He's out here somewhere we're gonna grab him we're on our way out. As you can see, it's dark, we're early. It'll probably be light by the time we get set up, but it's dark right now. Set up and rolling. I'm in the Otter Resort right here. Mac is set up there, who I still haven't introduced in the video. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there, I promise, at some point. But he is set up in the new Otter Lodge. 
with the full door. Pretty excited to uh, spend some time with that unit and see what it's all about. But yeah, I'm rolling a total of, I think five GoPros, one main camera, and I'm going to add the AquaView at some point too. Took a little bit to get set up. I'm not even sure what time it is. Looks like it's 8.30 or 9.30, is it maybe 9.30? Yeah, it's gotta be 9.30 because the sun's up already. So not bad, but uh, as you know, it takes a long time. So we're finally going inside to go fishing. We are dropping down. I love having this big shelter, so much room. Can stand and fish if a guy wanted to, it's so good. We're gonna be working the water column lots today. I do have two holes drilled. I am going to possibly fish two baits in here. We'll see, I'm not exactly sure yet. I might just devote this one to the underwater camera and then run a deadline outside with Mac as well. Mac has um, a deadline out there. He's running one hole in his shack and then he's running a deadline. So we will see, but I am pumped, 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 pumped. I love lake trout fishing. It's easily my favorite. I've got the new lucky hoodie on, the one that caught the 13 pound walleye this year. I'm feeling lucky. So th this is Mac right here, Mac Mulligan. He guides at Bakers and Arrows. You've seen him in some of my videos in the past. If you watched open water videos this, this uh, past uh, fall with some pike fishing. So pike yeah. Fishing, yeah, he's my, he's my uh, trusted lake trout guide right now. He's guiding me out here, you know, he told me I had to shut my GPS off, close my eyes and all Blind that stuff. Folded. So. I dragged him in a toboggan. Yeah. So good. He set everything up for me too, you know, and got yep. it all going and whatnot. And yeah. So this is Mac. You're going to see a little bit of him in the next couple of videos, hopefully. Unless, like I said, that we uh, have a slow day. I might combine some of the days, but. Or switch guides. Or switch guides. <laughs> good option. Can I get a new guide? <laughs> awesome. Look at that. Came up and crushed the rattle bait. It's got the Savage Gear grip trebles on there. These things are absolute money for lake trout. So good. We'll find out later if Clayton wants lunch or not. Oh boy, Clayton. What's going on over there, Clayton? You sleeping? Come on. Number two. There's another one down there. Well, Max on the board with two fish, he says. That's good. That's good. Can't let him out fish me though. Can't let him out fish me. Oh my goodness gracious. That wakes a fella up. Nothing like a cold shower in the morning. Smallest one of the day. Still might be bigger than Clayton's. Clayton must have sent that one over here because that one's that one's not happy. There we go. Off to a pretty good start, I'd say. It's now 1040. We pretty much got our lines down and set up. Oh yeah. Pretty much got our lines down and set up about nine o'clock. So two hours in, five fish so far. This one's screaming, she's mad. Took a while to get this one to bite, but Finally got to bite about 15 feet under the ice. And again, these Savage Gear grip trebles, literally dangerous, they're so good for lake trout. I've done some comparisons to uh, just regular trebles, and these ones literally blow them out of the water. Unbelievable. This thing's got some nice little orange fins on them. That's better behaved than the last one, I'll tell you that. What's that? Did you put gasoline down my holes? <laughs> Oh, I got a mark up here. I'm just making sure you're not napping. Well, I might have a nap here right away. I got Come a on. I got a fish chase me right here at 45 feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, do it. It's not a small mark, either. Come on. Look at that. All the way up to 19 and a half. That's what they keep doing to me. Come on. And they're eating up higher, or... If I can get them to commit, it's middle of the column. Oh. Like, that's high. I know. That's Come on. one thing I'll never understand is why they chase it for so long and don't bite. Oh, he just, like, hardly, hey? Like... Nipped it. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Mac, you're good luck. Maybe just stay in my shack, Mac. You're good luck. Oh, okay, there. I saw him at the hole. That's okay. That's all good. I just want to hook him. I don't Count even it. need to land him. It's perfect. You should just stay in here. You're good luck. Eat it. Eat it. Come on. I'm just trying to keep it away from him. They're just following and chasing up and not committing right now. Can't get them to commit. Finally. It took a while. Oh boy. Well, that's number five on the rattle bait again. Oh. Okay. It's slow right now. It's almost one o'clock. Uh, I've had fish chasing me around a little bit on the graph. Come up, go down, chase up, but not just committing. So it's a, it's a good sign of things to hopefully turn around in that sense where they are chasing. So maybe they will commit here at some point, but I'm gonna have some lunch here right now. I'm gonna do some stag chili. Stag, I know somebody that's pretty good named Stag, Daniel Stag. Got a pretty awesome YouTube channel, catches a lot of big fish. Remember, if you put your chili on the buddy heater, open your can first or else it'll explode all over your shack. As soon as I catch like one fish, I'll talk about like the structure we're on and that kind of stuff. But until I catch a fish, it's kind of hard for me to talk about anything. Hopefully Mac is covering a little bit in there when he's catching fish there with what he's using for baits and everything like that because he's got the touch. Mac, I believe is 20 years of age and has been guiding now at Baker's Narrows for I want to say three years. I believe this is his third winter. He spent a pile of time out here in the summer just mapping when he's not guiding just so he can have a lot of good spots to take clients to. So he's getting it really, really dialed in. If you want to go on a guided trip, I would definitely recommend Mac any day. I had a pleasure of fishing with him for one day in the boat this fall too for Pike and it was, it was a pleasure. He drilled me with questions all day, which was great. And I had a lot of questions for him too, right? Because you're always learning in that aspect. Never think you know everything. No matter how many years experience you have on that body of water, you'll never know it all. Well, if you've never eaten chili before, cooked on the buddy heater, ice fishing, you truly haven't ice fished yet. What's Shh. that saying about Lake Choke? The highs are high and the lows are low? The highs are high and the lows are low. <sighs> yeah, when it's low, it's low. <laughs> Uh, do you have a cot and a pillow and a blanket by any chance? <laughs> I wish. Oh yeah. It's Mac, my good luck charm. I don't know, like, should I go slow? Should I go fast? What should I do, Mac? Put my tongue on my right side of my... Got him! Okay, well that's what they're supposed to do, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, Mac, you are staying in the tent for the rest of the day because whenever you're here... Stuff happens. I seem to, yeah, I seem to catch fish or at least bring them up to the hole. I'm sure I'll lose him right when I get tight here because he's not that big. This is a crucial fish for you, man. This is. This will put me on the board. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice, man. Mac has been showing me how it's done all morning, but I am finally on the board with, like, what, a 26-inch or something like that? He's got orange fins, at least. Yeah. He's got, it's a lake trout. It's the right fish. <laughs> it's, the right, it's the right species. Thank you, buddy. I'm on the board. Tube jig, see Max catching all these fish over there because he's probably using a little little jig like this, tungsten jig and mealworm or something. <laughs> hey, Max all about the action, right? <laughs> How did you know, man? Yeah, I'm I'm using the big tube jig. I'm waiting for the right one. The right one. 
I wanted to kind of explain the structure that we're on. And I said to told everybody on the video that I would do it after I caught a fish. So you've kind of explained that this spot is like a big hump with deep spots on each side. And we're kind of both on the crest. Is that what you kind of said? Yeah. So it's basically like just like a long underwater finger. And Clayton and I are just up like one on each side. And like the fish are kind of like running up and down it on both sides. So we're just trying to intercept any fish we can. And you think kind of like a sand gravel bottom? You yeah, to... it's more like, it's not really muddy here. Cause like your jigs aren't sticking into the mud. Okay. It's just like, it, and it's not rocks either. So like, I, I believe it's more sand, like a hard, hard mud maybe. But... Okay. Is this something you'll fish like all winter or is it an early season thing or a later season thing or? Honestly, uh, we'll see. It's a new spot. So. Got See, some experimenting to do. Mac took me to his experimenting spots, which I'm I'm okay with. I'm I'm more than okay with that. It's a brand new spot for me. I've obviously fished Athapap in the past, but Mac said he was going to take me some of his good spots. Little do I know it was experiment. <laughs> Lab rat. <laughs> Lab rat. I love it. Come on, Clayton. Pick it up. Number seven. I think. Right on. Came up and crushed that rattle bait. Oh yeah, that flag's up. Okay. Get on him. I looked over and there's a flag up on Hopefully. Matt's uh, deadline here. Hopefully Ooh, we drilled double tens too, hey? Is this the one or what? Fingers crossed, man. No, he's still there. Is he? I think so. Yep. Oh man. Oh, slack in here hard. Frozen nice. gear. Oh yeah. Huh. He definitely had like slack in line. Like maybe it was caught on the ice or Could something. Could have been caught weird. on the ice probably, yeah. Doesn't look bad, hey? Or is it still caught on the ice? No. If you want me to do something, I'm just kind of filming here like a donkey. Yeah. If you I'm want me to do something, this. let me know. No, he's good. He's off to the side now. Okay, perfect. He must have grabbed it and then suspended. That was awesome. Hopefully it's uh, what we'll do, Mac. As soon as you land it, we'll go right to my warm shelter with it. We'll be, we'll deal with it in there. Man, my hand's freezing to this aluminum <laughs> reel. <laughs> Ow. Well, we've been waiting for uh, a big mama to come by all day. It's really hard to tell what it is right now. It's heavy for sure. It's heavy? Pretty heavy. Okay. Hasn't done much, but I mean, no. I've seen big fish exert their energy taking all that line out at the start, so I don't really fight a whole lot. Exactly. I'm nervous, and I'm not even fighting the fish. I, I know. Wish I was. Oh, you think you're nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be famous, Mac. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I've got a head camera and this camera, a little bit of ice. A little bit of ice. Oh yeah, it's big, man. That's it's big, dude. That's a big pig, dude. Look at this head. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Mac! It's giant. <laughs> it's giant. Man. It's giant. Let's okay, go. You ready? The, yeah, let's go right, right to the shop. The with it. Let's go. It's huge. That's oh my brilliant. goodness. Oh, I had a big head. <laughs> okay, so we brought this fish right into the shack where it's warm because it's not that far. Mac's gonna pull it out, show it off to the camera. We'll get a quick measure, and we'll get her back. Amazing. It's got a big head. <laughs> it's a giant head. Do I just head, pull right? this line out here? Yeah. Just so I don't get off the yeah. of it. Okay. So sick, man. That was awesome. Unreal. <laughs> That's a big one. Big head, hey? Big head, yeah. Big head. What's that? Just to get that mouth closed. Oh, sorry. Nice. Just 39 and a... 39 and a little bit. 39 and three quarters. Oh, yeah. Longer on the bottom tail. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Close. Awesome. Show it off to the camera. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's Mac sick. had his deadline out in the hopes of catching right a big mama. And he did. 39 and three quarters. Big Beautiful. head on that thing. Big old grandpa lips. Beautiful fish. Man. Eat it. Those things are so amazing. Sick. Pretty lean back end on it, but yeah, big, but just a giant head. head. Huge. Big deep fish. Beautiful fish. Wicked. Look at that tail. Ready to rip. Nice. That's so sick, man. Well, uh, so pumped. I get the assist for noticing the flag. 
That's all you, man. <laughs> I'm like, I literally was outside pegging my tent. I'm like, uh, Mac, what color are your flags? Because I think one's up. <laughs> so good. Oh, man. That was sick. So on Mac just had a deadline out there with just a Cisco. And you can probably see in some of my past videos, or if you go on Uncut Angling on Aaron's videos, he runs like a, a Cisco on a deadline. And uh, yeah, that's all there was to it. That's the advantage of running the one line in the shelter he could run a deadline as well so yeah they don't like yeah and like i was saying to clayton before i mentioned last night i was like the deadlines like they don't always get bit but if they do it's it's worth it man day two we are rolling getting set up right now almost to the point where we're fishing the sun's not quite up yet mac is over there he's getting some deadlines out as you saw yesterday the deadline i guess it's not technically yesterday in this video it's still this video it's yesterday for us but in this video, the deadline was super effective for us for a big fish. And we we're going to continue with that today. I'll probably run one line in the shack and I'll add a deadline as well. I might switch off here a little bit depending on what goes on. But yeah, super fired up. Got Matt going in his shack there with cameras and all that good stuff. No idea so far in this video how many of his fish has been on camera because sometimes cameras roll, sometimes they don't type of thing. It's always harder when I'm here and he's over there. But I think he caught like eight trout already, something like that. I'm sticking with uh, still the same tube jig here. If it ain't chartreuse, ain't no use. I got a little bit of Cisco uh, skin on there. And yeah, I've been one of my most asked questions. Clayton, where can we get those tube jigs? Well, I finally connected with the boys at Pokey's Tackle Shop in Regina. You can get them right from there. You can get them online. They do deliver anywhere in Canada. So I'll leave a link below where to get these exact tube jigs that I get asked more than any other question probably on my channel. Where can we get those tube jigs? So still a little bit stiff, frozen up here from the ride. Yeah, I'm pumped. I love lake trout. I had a tough day yesterday, not gonna lie. Landed one, lost three, but I stuck with the big bait pretty much the whole time too. So maybe that's a little bit of a a down flaw. I should maybe switch up to some smaller stuff at some point because a lot of times with the smaller fish, the bigger baits, they're harder to hook up on. At the same time, I'm not here for an itty bitty lake trout. If I haven't caught a lot of lake trout, yeah, I'd be going to a spoon or a, a jig with a minnow or something like that and trying to capitalize on more fish, but I'm looking for one fish. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, come on, oh, come on. They chase it and they chase it and they chase it and they just stop. Chase it all the way down to the bottom though. He's got it, he ate it right off the bottom. That's a nice fish, that's a decent fish. That one's decent for sure. I messed with him for a little bit and he finally ate it right off of the bottom. Now to just keep him buttoned. Come on, baby. Stay buttoned. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. I got a good one, Mac. I got a good one, Mac. I'm coming. I got calling Mac over. Come give me a hand. Oh, baby. Unbelievable. Nice way to start the day. I don't know how big, but. It's decent for sure. Do you want to reel up my other line for me there? Unbelievable. I mess with him and mess with him, Mac. Really? And he, he nipped at the tail once and I dropped it all the way down the bottom. I finally got him to eat it. I don't know how big, like it's not small for sure. I'll shut this door for you. Unbelievable. Oh, nervous. First fish of the day. It definitely looked like a decent mark. I can't believe how long I messed with it for, too. <laughs> That's wicked, man. That's so good. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny how, like, it's usually the tent that's not marking that much that gets the bigger fish. Have you caught any today? No, but I've been marking steady. I've had very few marks. Very few. And it's weird. Like, I had some clients out earlier this year, and it was like that one tent was just, like, not catching much. I yeah. didn't mark much. The other tent was, like, catching and marking lots. <laughs> And then at the end of the day, like the tent that, that didn't even mark many fish caught the biggest fish. Unbelievable, Always. hey? Yeah. No, it, it honestly, I never thought it was that big to start with, 
which they never do when they you know when they yeah when you first hooked into him but all of a sudden he was like he just got going you you're gonna grab him um I, I think i can grab him Kay. yeah i think i can we'll see what happens here just because there's do you want me to turn any cameras or anything um no i think we're okay okay got the head camera rolling here wow this is awesome so this pumped, awesome. Man. you maybe pull the bump board over to your side it's uh it's behind me here okay you this betcha. is awesome savage gear sand deal oh really yeah that's sick I, the first time i put it on this trip and i'm like you know what i was like i gotta put it on because it did well at cranberry right? yeah it was, it's been such a good bait for me it just got a slow tail movement to it man i at first i didn't think it was this big but it's starting to feel like it's starting to feel like a good fish like was it a big mark it, it was decent for sure yeah like i messed with it for the longest time to be honest with you like it nipped at my tail once and like I said, finally got it to eat right off of the bottom. Oh yeah, let's just fold it oh, up for now. Nervous. They get peeled a lot of line. It's coming up like a, like a, is that it right there at 32 feet? Or is that a different fish? I think that's a different fish. I think so eh? too, it looks like a decent mark. It's hard to say. Is that you below it? I think so. Yeah, it's you below it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. There's two decent marks. Well, a lot of times they, they do it. Oh, yeah. oh, I hate when it jumps like that. Oh, he's, he's freaking out. Coming up like cake now. He's freaking out. He's burping at least. Yeah, he's burping. That's a good sign. Oh, Mac, this is unreal. So you wicked. told me you're going to take me to the juice, Mac. I told you. 10 o'clock, hey? First fish of the day. I said earlier that I'll I'll fish all day or two days or three days for one bite. I don't care to put on a smaller spoon or stuff like that all the time. So nervous. This is nice in the shack, stabbing them and fighting them like this. I know. This is money. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good one. You got visual? I just saw it. Yeah, it's pretty big. I'm pack that down. A Can't bit. tell how big, but it was. It's not tiny. It's not tiny. Here's my leader. Oh, it looked like it had a good, great big white side on it. Yeah, like it looks like. It looks deep. It looked deep, yeah. Yeah, she ain't happy. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's a little camera shy. Yeah, I'm so bubbles. I get so nervous, Mac. I'm so pumped for you, dude. It's a, it's a nice fish. Like it's a nice silver big deep one um hard to tell how deep it's not i don't think it's that like it's not that it's not huge huge well a lot of times it's like the high 30s that bite so hard well exactly right like and thick i don't even know if it'll it'd be high 30s it could even only be like a 35 36 even it's hard to say he's got a big wide tail it's on him, though. so thick <laughs> it's not a huge one by any means but unbelievable fight. Easy, easy, easy. It's not giant. It's probably, I'm saying like 35. Got a pretty good noggin 36. on 36, oh yeah. Oh, easy. <laughs> oh, it's got that treble, which is nice right now. Come on, baby. Those trebles are a huge confidence boost. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Nice, nice, nice. That's a good fish. That's a good one. It's thick. <laughs> yeah, slap Mac in the tail. Yeah, yeah, Sir, slap him. That's a nice fish. It Probably 37-ish, I'd say. Yeah. Probably my That's guess. <laughs> That's wicked. Oh. Yeah, 36. 36-ish. Yeah. Right on. Unbelievable. It Great. sure fought like a champ. 36 inch or I'll take fish like that wicked any day so thick like that's a that's a heavy fish for 36 inches got a big big bottom jaw on that one yeah <laughs> just like that hardly out of the water oh the goods Mac the goods they're showed off man the money maker <laughs> the savage gear sand deal yeah I, I guess I figured today I'd let you use sharp hooks I filed them all down the other day. I knew it! I knew it! Mac told me I wasn't allowed to use any of the hooks I wanted to yesterday, so... No, awesome. I'm just kidding. Unbelievable. That's wicked. That thing fought crazy. So like, that's 
two trophies in and two days. Yeah. If we want to go just like from the when we caught the last one, it's like two trophies in like an hour. You know what? It's back to back. <laughs> it's back to back trophies. Yeah. <laughs> Might be different days, but it is back to back. Come on. Chase it. Chase it. Oh, we just had the tail again. He's like, I've got lots of fish down there all of a sudden. He's got a whole school of Lakers down there right now. Down the bottom a little bit. And just start to reel. Got him. Little guy. Little guy. Okay, we are on the board again. Maybe it's my day. I'm loaded with lake trout down there. And I got three or four Lakers down there right now. This guy is definitely smaller. But we are cracking them now. It's Clayton's day today, maybe. Maybe it's Clayton's day. Maybe. Maybe. I could lose them at the hole, though, too. Right? Pretty easy to lose them. Pretty easy to lose them, especially if they're a little bit smaller. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> flop away on me, so I'll show him off quick, but a lot smaller. That'd be a nice little eater right there. It really would be. Fish too. Well, I just, just like that, easy. Just like that, I doubled my uh, count from yesterday. Love it. Oh, 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 nice, 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 nice. I was just sitting there, dead sticking. Not doing anything. Standing, waiting for the next opportunity. And fish three is on the board right away. Feels small, feels small. Not only would this fish be a good eater, this would be a really good fish for Mac. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, you gotta go down. There you go. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Mac's giving me a, a rough time, so I had to give him just a little poke back here. Oh, here we go. Mark at 32 feet, just flashed in. I'm gonna go for it. Come on. Here it comes. Yep. Ate it. Oh, didn't connect. Didn't connect. Maybe I'll get another shot. Maybe I'll get another shot. Come on. Here it comes again. Here it comes again. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. No. I drop it down. See if he'll chase it going down. Look how fast they are going down. Oh. He likes that going down a lot. Gonna stop it. I'm gonna chase it up again. He's gonna eat it, isn't he? He's gonna eat it. Come on. Oh, he just hardly bumped it. Hardly bumped it. Come back again. Come back again. Come on. Come on. Oh, again. He just hardly grabbed like the tail of it. It's so crazy. I'm gonna drop it past him again. He's chasing it down. Oh, he just bumped it. He just got it. He just ate it. Falling. That's how fast those lake trout can swim. It's insane they can swim that fast to catch up to a bait as it's falling. Unbelievable. It's so good. It's so good. Well, we are on the board. We found, we found what they want to eat for us anyway. Easy, easy, easy. It's a little bit darker fish right there, but nice. Fish four. Slamming today. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. This is what Max and the Vortex Pro Lodge, this full door, is pretty nice. It's a beast. Not gonna lie. What's going on in here? Oh, you know what? Even though I know there's a full door, I'm still like, you're so used to stepping over stuff. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. Catching or what? No, I'm just watching. Sightseeing. How many fish do you have today, Mac? I put one in the ice and lost you at the hole. Oh, you put one on the ice? I did. Yeah. Are you lying to me? No, I did. It's on camera. It's small. And I said, I don't want Clayton to see this. But, but I'm going to see it, aren't I? You're going to see it, unfortunately. I have four. You're lying. No, serious. I've been messaging you. Oh, really? Nothing's come through yet. Yeah, I've got four. So, uh, teaching you a lesson today. Yeah, I heard some mumbling. I just thought you were snoring. <laughs> I thought you were sleeping for sure. Oh, Look at this fancy hat. Ice fish, Manitoba. It almost makes you look good. Yeah. You can get those hats, Huntfish Manitoba hats, hoodies, a bunch of other stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Love it. It's a good looking hat. It's a good looking guy, you mean. <laughs> hat. Oh. It's nice and warm in here, hey? Oh yeah. 
Look at, see, I'm turning Mac into a YouTuber here. He's got angle here, angle over there. We're doing it. We're getting them all Hollywood. dialed in. Hollywood. 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 In Hollywood. Here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie. I was on my phone. I was on my phone. Sometimes, sometimes your phone is where you can catch your fish too. That fish just came up and crushed it. I was totally on my phone checking an email. Okay. This fish feels decent. It doesn't feel, it's not giant, but it's not small. It's not small. It took a, oh, okay. It's pretty good. Oh, baby. Don't like when they do that. Don't like when they do that. Like I said, it's not giant. Look at him fight like crazy. Unbelievable. Up and down, up and down. Yeah, feels decent. Like I said, not giant, but definitely feels better than, uh, better than those small fish, better than the small ones that Mac catches all the time. Easy, easy, easy. Come here. Come on, back up, back up a bit, back up a little bit. I might have him hooked funny too, it's possibly. No, it's not bad, not bad at all. Not big, not small. Uh, like I said, just a little bit bigger than the one Mac catches. He, oh, he tried to get away. He's got lots of strength left here. We're gonna get him back while we still can, because he wants to go. He was uh, a longer one this way. Definitely a little bit skinnier, but probably like 28, 29 inches. Come on. Nice. Got him to eat it. Little guy, I think. We are on fire today, baby. Fire. If I land this one, this will be fish seven. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think I've lost one. No, I didn't lose one today. Yesterday I lost fish. Today we haven't lost any yet. But now that I said that, we're probably gonna lose it. <laughs> He's just tiny. He's tiny. This for sure is a max size fish there. He's a little guy. Okay, down, down, down. Max said I got a flag. He's got a lot of line out. Yeah, I was right spooled. <laughs> like right down. Yeah. Okay. Feels heavy. It does feel heavy. Oh boy. Like real heavy. Feels really heavy. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I've got my GoPro going too. I had some GoPro issues there earlier. I heard the beeping. I've caught two more, Mac. I think this is, I've caught seven fish today. It's a Clayton day. It's a Clayton, -ish, Clayton -ish day, baby. Unbelievable. If we get lucky enough to land this, same thing, we'll go over to my You want to uh, shack? Poke your rod down there. Yeah. That's cut nice. There you go. Yeah, we'll go over to my shack. Yeah. With it. That's crazy, man. Like it was literally, like the flag literally flipped up and when I got here, it was just like this. <laughs> no, I, I just heard some bells. I'm like, Mac, do you have a flag? It, it's because your line must have been frozen, right? Yeah. So like when it was, when it was bouncing, pulling line out, yeah. it just shook the whole thing over. No. He's got so much line out, hey? Chaotic. It's been the hot rod here, hey? Yeah. Unbelievable. I see your next uni not there. Yeah. <laughs> your next transition. <laughs> my next, yeah. Max making fun of my line, but. <laughs> It's only got 50 yards of ice braid. And then I had another 50 yards there. So yeah, is that recording? Is there a button or is this a Yeah, the record? timer's, timer's going up. Okay. I think. Yeah, should be. 150? Yeah. It's coming in easy now. Coming in like cake. It was real heavy off the start. Yeah, buddy. This is awesome. Feels heavy. It feels real heavy, actually. I'm excited. It's, what a day. This is why you hire Mac as a guide right here. <laughs> He's leveling them for me. Put me on him. He said, I'm going to take you to the juice, Clayton. Actually, he admitted it yesterday that this is actually an experimental spot for him. It's been fished, just not Not, <laughs> not much. You're the first client I'm, I'm a ever. test here for future clients. He feels heavy. I already know everyone's going to ask for the Clayton spot. <laughs> the Clayton spot, yeah. I like this fighting outside with two people. You're going to land it for me even. Okay. Once it gets closer, you can just. I'll try not to just let go of the camera and grab the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just don't. Yeah. Is your uni not stuck there, nice? Uh, might be. I give it be a okay. poke. I yeah. give it a poke down. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Angle change. There's yeah. a uni. It's 
going to be close. I haven't even seen a visual or anything. That's nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's big. It's bigger than my one from before. Oh, yeah. That's a big fish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, I'll take the camera. Okay. Okay. And we'll just go together the shaft. I'm just going to unhook him here okay. quickly. Yeah, that's fine. We still got that Cisco, which is awesome. Okay. Max going to unhook him here quick. We're going to go to the shack with him where it's nice and warm. Deal with it in there. I think I'm recording. Yeah, we're recording. This is good. I'm going to pull him out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is a big one. Oh! <laughs> yes. What a that's a, long that's one. a long one, dude. Hey, Super long that's too. long. Oh, that's, that's a big so fish. Sick. Dude, I never got a good look until now. That's a big one. That's so that's long. That's like, that's over 40 for sure. Okay. Get the bump worn out. That's a big fish. Oh, unbelievable. Pays to have that dead bait, hey? Yeah, buddy. 41. 41, 41 so incher. Sick. Unbelievable. I'll show her off quick. Oh, so awesome. Unbelievable. 41 inch hog. I don't uh, have my glasses on, so I, is it focused? It should be focused, eh? Oh, it looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. He's got a big melon on it, eh? Oh, that's big, Mac. That's big. Is that a big pucker on that thing? That's big. <laughs> oh. That's so sick. <laughs> Dude. Unbelievable. Look at that, there's a fish coming up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hold my rod properly. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out, you just have to come to my shack to catch fish, hey? I don't smoke it too. They're not like, oh, lost them. Oh, wow. Well, right, but again, nope, he's gone. I'd probably catch them. I wouldn't They're definitely not them. snapping like that in my tent. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different, eh? So I, I couldn't even see it because the GoPro is like covering my view for that. Really? Well, I guess like I could look on the flasher side, but. Oh, you don't watch, you won't, you watch the other side. So I brought Mac over to the shack for a bit, just cause, well, it gets lonely. You want to hang out a little bit, right? Someone to laugh at. Yeah, I feel bad for him since I'm kicking his butt today, but I can say all that right now because I got smoked yesterday hard, so I don't feel bad about about making fun of him now, about smoking him, but... We'll see what tomorrow has in store. To be fair, he did give me the next deadline fish since he caught one last night, so he's such a nice guy, but I kind of brought him over just so we can chat a little bit and, you know, the good old things. I want to I wanna quiz him. I want to ask him some questions. I want to find his best fishing spots out here. No, I actually, I wanted Mac to come over to talk a little bit. I think it's super important. Most of my trips I do, I go out on myself all the time. And not that I've, I've hired a guide, Mac's a friend before a guide, but I am helping him kind of explore some spots on the lake for future clients and that stuff. But I thought it'd be cool to ask him like what you get if you hire a guide here. Like a lot of times you get, or I know Brett told me he gets phone calls and it's like, what do I get if I get a guide? So why don't you answer that question? What do you get if you get a guide to come to Baker's? <laughs> Besides guaranteed big fish. Guaranteed big fish, yeah. Um, <laughs> basically like you're assured, like like your, your your trip is safe, right? Like like it's a long run out to the big lake. And during like, especially during the winter, you get bad conditions. Like just like today, it's like white out, right? So I mean, like sure Clayton has a sled and GPS, but I mean the average guy doesn't have a GPS mounted to his sled, right? So he'd be going white out trying to guess his way back. His tracks are covered, so it just it just takes that fear out of it. You know what I mean? And dark in the morning. Yeah, like exactly. When you head out in the morning, yeah, it's dark. and that, like that's another thing. Like this time of year, like January, December, even middle of February, like you only have like nine hours of light, right? So it gets you're, like you're leaving yeah. in the dark, and you're coming back in the dark. So everything's in the dark so you, like you really need to rely on your gps or like your guide to guide you back S safe and sound right slush is a bad yeah, one yeah and slush is another big factor this time of year like with all the snow and it changes daily and then the be like the best people to keep you informed on the slush conditions are the guides like because because we're out there every single day we know the conditions of the lake we know where the hazardous areas are so we can try to avoid those best we can. Not saying it always happens because right. like, like you do run into slush. So typical day, you they have a breakfast at like seven o'clock and you try to leave around eight-ish? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, and that's the unique thing about bakers, right? Like you can come and either do it yourself, like basically everything independent, or you can come and get like the full like meals every day, lunch every day plan. And just like, it's basically like all-inclusive resort, right? So you like, you have both options there. But yeah, usually we leave around like 8, 8.30ish, just kind of like when that sun's just starting to come up. Okay. And then when you get out there, you're helping them set up tents, drill holes, that yeah. kind of thing? 
Yeah, I'm. I'm. Oh, first, first you got to go right to the spot though, and not have to search and look for the spot, yeah, which exactly. is a yeah. good bonus. Yeah, it's just like, and that's the thing too to consider, right? It's like, like when I'm guiding, like first off, like I want to talk to my clients, see what they want to go for, if they want to go for numbers or big fish specifically, and kind of gauge like what what their skill set is, and then I I base that like like where we're going off the weather, seeing if it, like today it's like low light, so we're fishing shallower, right? High like high sun, bright days, like we're gonna fish a little bit deeper off structure. Right. No, it's see, I, I've guided for like 18, 19 years already. So I know how much work goes into that and the behind the scenes that people don't always see, like just having all the gear ready, organized in that. Cause you do yeah. have gear if somebody doesn't have their, have oh, stuff yeah. either, Yeah, right? we can supply stuff. Like we, like we supply everything from tents to augers to rods, hooks, everything. So if a client comes up and he has you as a guide, but doesn't have the proper gear, you have gear for him to use that. Yeah, exactly. Which is rods, reels, tackle, all, yeah. all the good stuff. So your your bites are very few and far between sometimes for big fish so you want to capitalize yeah. on that right like obviously bring up your own gear for sure and do your homework and your research ahead of time but they have stuff available so yeah so you'll you'll drill holes help set up tents and then once they start fishing do you like help them land fish oh yeah cut like, chum for them and like, like that's the big thing too it's like as soon as they start fishing it's like i'm i'm trying to teach them and talk them through it because like lake trout's different right because like as as everyone's seen watching this video like like you're playing with those fish a lot you're trying to get them to interact it's not like walleye like where you're just like raising your rod super slowly in shallow water right like you have to be on the ball and every and, day's different yeah every day's different some exactly. days they chase some days they yeah. sit on the bottom and don't want to do anything yeah and like you like you saw earlier like sometimes they just they just nip at it just bump it and like there's really not much you can do at those times like just just adapt right yeah but have, having that guy there to help you through the process, right? Like when you only have two, three, four days to fish, you want to make the most out of that opportunity. Yeah, so. especially if you're coming from a long distance, right? Totally. Like, just, just make it worth it. Yeah. So you've seen in this video, we've caught a couple fish on set lines out there. Is that something you'll maintain and do for yeah, clients then too? Yeah, for sure. Like that's something like I, I do for almost all my clients. The only time I really don't do it is when it's like, like dangerously cold out there. And like in that right. minus 30, minus 40, like, like it's so cold to the point like where if you bend your rod in that cold like there's a good chance it's going to just snap in half right yeah. no that makes sense for sure so as long as the weather permits yeah they'll drill holes outside of the shack too and bigger holes like double 10 holes to give the fish more room with those baits yeah and then you have then you can take advantage of more lines out there and fish some bigger yeah baits just more that opportunities too, so. right no that's that's awesome so like we said guaranteed big fish is what, what i'm hearing yeah. from all this it's never a guarantee number one on the list yeah whenever i say that i i i kid you can get lucky like like i have right now literally the first two days out here we caught some big fish but you can sit out here for sometimes days and days sometimes it takes yeah. a couple trips to make it happen exactly like you said earlier in the video your highs are high and your lows are low yeah and and the big thing is too it's like most people like like most of the clients that are coming up here the, like this past two years are from like the prairies and stuff right so they're used to walleye fishing and like the, like i tell everyone like this is a totally different realm than walleye like it's not like you're gonna be hammering like crazy amounts of numbers each day like i mean some days you can get into some decent numbers but like clayton was saying like a good day lake trout fishing like a really a day you're satisfied with is if you can put five lake trout in the ice totally like, like that's a satis like like you like you go home happy you know what i yeah. mean yeah, five, five is a great number for like per person. So if yeah. you have five, if you have five people out there and you can spread out a little bit, but sometimes when you have two people in one tent, five might be the number yeah. between the two tent or between that one tent. So. Yeah, and, and that's just it, right? It's like, I mean, like, like a good day for a guide day is like twenty fish, because that's like, like usually most of our guide days are for a group of four, right? So if we can get twenty fish, like, say even if one guy catches ten or twelve, whatever, like that's that's twenty fish for the group. Like mm -hmm. it's about the group it's not about the individual unless it's like an individual person on the trip right totally it's such a giant lake too and i know there's like three or four other groups you're fishing right now yeah. and i don't see any of them so you guys spread no. apart like yeah yeah like and that's the other thing too it's like when like like when you're choosing your spots like you always choose like personally i always choose like the far like far away from everyone like i want my guests to feel like they're out in the middle of nowhere like in the wilderness you know what mm -hmm. i mean it's just not as satisfying if you're sledding all this way out and then you're surrounded by tents you know what i mean yeah but they they do communicate amongst each other yeah. so if they notice there's like a hot bike going in a certain area or maybe even more importantly a certain depth yeah. then then clients can adjust because a lot of times this lake is all the same i find where it's like if it's hot in one area it's generally hot in another if it's slow in one area it's not like you're messing out messing up missing out on a certain yeah. bite certain area so not that it can't certain certain areas can go off at times and stuff no an another question i have is 
if they're coming up here, what should they bring for gear? Basically, like, I'd say the number one thing, like, I recommend you bring is, like, full face coverage because, like, I see so much frostbite in the winter. How about, how about gear-wise in terms of fishing? Gear-wise, like, I mean, like, basically, like, any, like, medium-heavy rod, like, that has a good load to it is, is going to is gonna get you where you need to go. So maxing by load, f further into the blank, not something with a fast tip like this, yeah. something that bends down into the blank more because lake trout have a really, really vicious head shake. So you want something that absorbs the whole head shake. Yeah. And then, like, basically, like, like I just tell my guests, like, basically, the same reel you use in the summer for walleye will suffice, like, for in the winter for lake trout. You're kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. You stay away from my fish, Mac. I'm stealing him. I got him. Where's the scissors? <laughs> See? I told Mac, I'm like, the only thing that's missing is him to catch a fish during this whole talk, but I'm done I, I, I have to show him how to, how to, how to do it. So how about we interview you? Interview me, Mac, there, there'll be a really short interview, <laughs> like really short interview. Unbelievable. I hope you lose it. I could. This is a, this is a good fish for you. Mac, this is like fish nine, I think today. Just on fire. Just on fire. Fish number nine for Clayton. Unbelievable. Stop shaking. See, he's got enough energy. He might even go down and bite you yet. He doesn't Boy, like you much. He's been hammering, hammering. I was going to talk about baits and stuff like that today, but I think I'm going to save that for the next video because Mac and I are going to come out and do one more day of lake trail fishing. So I'll save like all of the, some of our favorite baits for the next video. But what, what do you recommend for people to bring up for baits? Um, like, I'd say my number one recommendation would be like, like some tube jigs, like whether like, like go from both sides, like both ends of the spectrum, like small and big, like a lot of people come up with just six inch and, and like you see a six inch tube, like seals a deal with a lot of big fish. But I mean, you can sit there all day and jig that with no, with no activity at all. Right. And, and I mean, some people are okay with that, but like 90% of my clients like would rather catch at least something in the day. Right. So have. Have some big baits and yeah. some smaller baits, like yeah, like a, like you can't like in my opinion you can't go wrong with a four inch white tube or four inch chartreuse tube, like you can't go wrong, because like I see so many big fish get caught on a four inch bait, and so many fish in general get caught on a four inch bait, like you can't beat it. So if somebody wanted to come up here and like I talked a little bit earlier that doesn't have all the gear, what about like transportation if they don't have a sled? Do you have available like transportation or rental sleds, yeah, that kind of thing? Like uh, at Baker's, like we rent out sleds. Like we, like we have six, uh, uh, like 570 fan cooled bear cats that we rent out as well as we have a new one ton van that we tracked. So that thing's going to be a unit. And with that, like you can fit up to like six people in there, like with some gear. So like, you'll be totally comfortable with six people in that van. And you like you have the option with that as transportation too to get guided or just like just purely transportation. Oh, okay, so yeah, so you can do the whole guided thing where you all jump in the van together and go out and fish for the day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Or like if you want to just use that, like because it's a warm way out there, you can just use that as like just transportation. Like you can rent it just for transportation. But like like a guide or like a, like someone working at the lodge will like drive you out there. Right. And stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Well, back in the cabin. Actually, correction. I've been back in the cabin for a little bit. I'm literally about to go to bed because I've got one more day of fishing yet tomorrow with my buddy Mac and we are going back lake trout fishing. I can't remember what happened last at this point. The day was a blur. It was amazing or it was two days. This, this video right now was actually two days. We had caught a 41, we caught a 39 and three quarters. We caught another one, a 36. It all happened like just feels like a blur basically is what I'm saying. I caught a pile of fish today, where it's so funny, yesterday, Mac caught a pile of fish. So you never know when you're set up, right? Whether what one spot's gonna be good one day and you think, geez, I should move my shack over to where my buddy is. And the next day is your day, right? It can go back and forth like that all the time when it comes to lake trail fishing. But anyways, it's probably a little bit of a longer video. Mac did an awesome job in the shack explaining what you get if you do a guided trip here type of thing. Baker's Narrows has an unbelievable operation. They have world-class guides when it comes to knowing the lake out there, putting you on fish, having fun, all that fun stuff. Like they put in a pile of pile of hours, like a pile, pile, pile. They're up getting gear ready, you know, at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning for your trip out. And then when they come back, they're still dealing with everything too. So can't really say anything else besides thank you very much 
as always to bakers for having me i still do have one more day so hopefully we can put some more fish on the ice but that'll wrap up this video so thank you so much for watching as always so don't forget get outside <laughs>